So I like to explain uh, thermal breaks like a, and, and thermal bridges mm. like a bridge. Okay. Say I was trying to stop somebody from crossing a bridge. Sure. And I would put a roadblock up, a thermal break. Okay. If you put that thermal break in the middle of the bridge, sure. there's a good chance you're not going to cross the bridge. Sure. If I put that roadblock 100 meters in front of the bridge on either side, sure. well, people can walk around it and then cross the bridge. Sure. So to get an effective break, mm. it has to be in the middle of the bridge, in sure. the middle of the insulation layer. Sure, sure. The most effective spot. And ideally, you don't have a bridge on either side of that that is super, super conductive, like a metal of some sort. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could be a big bridge like a metal. Yeah, it exactly. Could metal. It could be a, uh, SHS or something like that. Yeah, but so people get that wrong all the time. And then this is where in external insulations become a, a better solution, especially in those steel stud, mm. um, multi-level high-rise kind of constructions. 